I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, people? How you doing? It is a great day, and I'm so very excited to be here today. To witness this event is going to be life-changing for you. It's going to change your finances. It's going to change your outlook on life. It's going to change the way you do business and who you do business with. We are going to get into it today, so don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back. I do to be different. Man, let me tell you something. I'm so excited to be meeting this next guest. He's all about finances, entrepreneurship. He's a founder. He's He's got all the kinds of things. It's Yah Israel, Israel. And I hope I said that right. Yah Israel, Israel. Yes, ma'am. You said that correctly. <laughs> awesome. It's Yah Israel because I wanted to give him praise in my name, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah. share a name with him as well, all right? I know he already has a begotten son, one begotten son, but we are also the sons with an S of God as well. Uh, so we have to behave like it and always give all praises to the most high. All right. So my name is Yazreel Israel. I am the owner, founder of Anti Job, the brand. Um, and I'll allow you to ask, you know, the questions. <laughs> what What is Anti Job? What is Anti Job? What is that? Well, it is actually in, in, in rebranding. Um, it used to be a lot more forceful than. Um, anti-job and i know you can hear the thunder in the background guys so just to give y'all a heads up i am in panama and it is not like the united states so at any given moment everything can go so (laughs) i I didn't hang up on y'all i promise i didn't hang up on y'all but um anti-job it is a rebranding of what it it used to be f a job okay and you can make the f mean whatever you want to mean but it was a frustration manifestation of being fed up. There's a lot of F's of with the nine to five slave trade, uh, the, the, the freaking plantation, a whole nother scamdemic. Uh, it, it, we're not even supposed to be working for. Anyway, we're not supposed to be working for them. If you have an entrepreneurial spirit, the scripture talks about you dimming your light especially dimming your light for others, all right? The only one that you serve is the most high God. See, the difference between us and our, um, if you, you, some people like to call him a brother, but Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, the difference between us and him is that when he was sent here, he remembered his purpose. When we were sent here, since we were born through sin, we forget what our purpose is and we have to spend the majority of our life trying to rediscover that and then fulfill it. So in, just in case anybody watching this right now, I know, hey, oh, this dude is preaching. I thought this was business. I promise you, you're going to learn biblical business pr- principles that are going to change everything for your business. But if you think that there is some type of possibility of a separation of success in God, then I don't know what to tell you about that. Um, but okay. This is not your first existence. The scripture talks about how when we pass, once our spirit leaves this corpse, this flesh, our spirit goes back back into the hand of the living God. That means you were living. You were already a spirit. And God sent you here, just like he sent his son. That's why he said his son was sent the same way his brethren was sent right? So you were a spirit and you were sent here to do something. Your job is to figure out what your gift is. What was, what was Christ's gift? His, Christ, his gift was to preach the kingdom and to die for us to be able to have entry into it. Okay? So what was yours? He fulfilled that in three years of ministry. So don't think for one minute, minute, just go, oh, well, I don't have enough time or I can't do that. It ain't enough hours in the day. We are all these excuses. You, you fulfill your purpose. First you discover it and then you fulfill your purpose, okay? 
you can do it, all right? Uh, but what I'm going to teach you guys today is success through biblical business principles. Of course, money is going to come from that. It's a byproduct. But don't go at it thinking about money. That's a lot of our biggest mistakes. We'll do anything for the bag, and that's why a lot of stuff happened to us. What profit the man to gain the world only to lose his soul? Okay? So it's not that money is evil. It's the love of it because the devil that rules this world knows that if you love it, that you're going to do whatever for it, and they can control you. Okay? All right. So we're going to go over a few formulas, and then we're going to go over law. And the scripture says, if any man speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. So I'm not going to uh, speak my own words because God is my lawyer. So this ain't hate speech, it's great speech. I will do my best not to offend, but I am going to be honest and tell everybody the truth about their situations, how they can get their finances right, and, and, and what they can do. A lot of it you're not going to want to hear because you've been cuddled like a baby from everybody you know forever, which is why you haven't reached the level that you have. OK, a lot of us are past age 25 and 30. So we got to get over the BS. We got to get over being cuddled and being told what we want to hear. Oh, cancel him because he's just telling me what my mama won't tell me. OK, well, grab the belt and spank me because that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right. So first of all. Oh, that's an alarm right there, my bad. Uh, first of all, we have two formulas. Anybody watching right now, write these or listening right now, watch, uh, write these down. If you're trying to learn how to make money, these are two basic formulas to anybody. It doesn't matter your skill level. If you still have a job right now, knowing this right here, you can start setting things in motion to unshackle yourself. All right. So if people think an entrepreneurial spirit is just based for a certain type of person. God sent every last one of us here. In that journey, your mind was captured from some other oppressor or I idol that you worship, okay? That doesn't mean that you don't have something in you. God doesn't make mistakes. I'm sorry if you thought he made you a mistake. You're not a mistake. So it's something awesome in you. And it's called a gift. Uh, forget all that passion stuff. I'm not going to talk about that today. I'm going to talk about your gift. What do you do with a gift? You give it to others. So if your gift doesn't line up with your passion, oh, cry me a river, Justin Timberlake style, okay? But your gift is for others. Once you figure out what your gift is, now the clock starts. You're supposed to start fulfilling your purpose. Now it's simple. How do you know that your gift isn't something crazy? Well, your gift, if God gave it to you, obviously needs to be aligned with the laws. He didn't give you a gift to make an OnlyFans. Oh, did I say that? Oh my, oh, my bad. Oh, okay. We got to tell Roxy that you can't always use what you got to get what you want. Sorry. All right. So let's move on. You want to make money? Let's make it very simple. The first formula is relevant traffic plus irresistible offer equals money. What am I talking about? Traffic, just replace the word traffic with people. People, audience, whatever you want to call it. Okay, how do you get in front of people? Okay, next, irresistible offer. Irresistible offer, unique, uh, more valuable offer than the typical company or product or service that will be placed in front of these people. If you combine those two, effortlessly will come the money. All right? So I'll give you an example. If you're if I'm if I'm scouting, I see you walking miles to work. It's hot as a mug in the heat of the dang on summer. And I got this rust bucket that I want to get off my yard. And all I want is a couple hundred bucks for it. I'm going to scout. I'm going to look at your shoes. I'm going to see how much you be spending. I'm going to wait. And then I'm going to roll up on you one day and I'm going to say, ain't you tired of sitting at this bus stop and walking all these miles? You work 
at Procter & Gamble, don't you? They pay about $10 an hour. And I see you here doing a week. There's 40, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got a beater. It's not all that good looking, but I can sell it to you. You can get it, go get it registered and everything. 500 bucks. I'll help you get registration. It's a clear title. On top of that, I'll help you with, uh, you know, maybe putting a system in there or something like that. Boom. I mean, for somebody just walking that thought that they had to go to some car lot and put money down and do all of that extra stuff and somebody approached them with something that's just cash that actually runs, they just want to get rid of it. That's an irresistible offer. Is it the yes. right timing? Is it the right time and right conditions? Right? So irre irresistible offer plus traffic equals money. Now the problem goes into people not knowing how to get the traffic. Okay. And then what about the offer? So it's a formula inside creating the dang on offer itself. <laughs> but we'll get into that a little bit later. So yeah, we, we do got to get into that. A lot of people don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Oh, just some some freaking history. If you go on YouTube, Anti-Job University, it used to be called Ever Job. That was the channel before, Ever Job. Been doing this since 2015. So as longevity in the game, I used to work at, uh, well, I had a million jobs. I've been working since I was about 14 years old. And none of those jobs ever fit. I just knew it was something I was supposed to do. I thought it was music, but I just knew I, I wasn't meant. Like, I would always think, do y'all remember that? Some of y'all know y'all age. Do y'all remember that commercial uh, uh, for Tombstone Pizza? It used to say, what do you want on your tombstone? I yeah. used to always think that. I'm like, okay, it's a crap load of cemeteries. And it's a crap load of stones in those cemeteries. And there's a crap load of, forgive me, y'all, but nobody's in those cemeteries. Like when you go there to see your uncle, you don't even know where where where, where he's buried at. It takes you half an hour to remember where he, where they buried him so you can go put flowers there. That's sad because if you go to Seattle, everybody knows exactly where Bruce Lee's buried at. I mean, if his body's actually in there, but people knows where it's supposedly <laughs> buried at, right? So my point is this. The scripture talks about building a name above everything. Building a name above everything, which brings us to the formula. Positioning plus leverage equals profit recycling. Okay, now this one is a little bit more complex, but still simple than the uh, formula before. So positioning, positioning what? Yourself, your brand, your business, positioning. Okay, how are you unique? All right, when you think of positioning, let's simplify it, because I don't know the, uh, uh, the education, business education level of the people listening right now, but we'll just simplify. When you think positioning, here's a question. Why should they buy from you over anybody else? Boom. Mm -hmm. Boom. Boom. If you want to know where I got this, okay, the scripture says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. None of this is me. So if you think I'm smart, maybe you should go and open that book collecting dust on your grandma's table right now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. All of this comes from that. Yes. I get business from there. I don't get it from Alex Hermosi. I don't get it from Grant Cardone. None. Those are men and they're flawed. No shots at them. I'm just letting you guys know. I mean, the blind can't lead the freaking blind, right? Okay. No, so, um, yeah, the scripture talks about gathering uh, men gathering men up under them instead of under the Lord. That's why every time I'm teaching, I'm teaching God, even in business. I put him in everything. It's because it's my protection. That's why I always start everything with God is my lawyer. So this ain't hate speech, it's great speech. You're going to hear scripture when I'm, when I'm teaching something, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, but positioning yourself unique, uh, um, extremely valuable, uh, why should a person choose your product or service or your company or, or you as a in a, in, a, in a relationship? It doesn't matter. How do you position yourself as unique? Okay, when Christ came, because I studied I studied scriptures, when he came, 
He was positioned as the only begotten son. He could do things no other man could do. He mm -hmm. knew things no other man in the flesh could know. He could offer what no other man could offer. So he was positioned as the only. So those of you listening right now that has businesses or want businesses in the future or something like that, right? Think of this. Make it like a templated sentence. I am the only blank that offers blank. Okay, and just fill in those blanks. I am the only blank that can do blank. I, got I am the only. You can figure, you should be able to figure out multiple things to put into there. Multiple things. Multiple, not just one. There you go. And you killing it. You killing it because guess what? Now you're stacking value. The more blanks that you can fill in, it like when a person hears those, it makes it to where, okay, well, yeah, that's exactly why I should go with you versus anybody else. I don't want anybody to choose my products or services based off of price. Matter of fact, I'm going to price my stuff higher than everybody else's. You understand what I'm saying? Don't come to me for price. Come to me for value. Come to me for mastery. You understand what I'm saying? So how do you be the only? Because guess what? All right. I, I create a cell phone today. All right. I have a cell phone company today. Boom. All right. I'm not the only cell phone company. So now I got to go a layer deeper. Why would you choose my cell phone company when, when Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, they own market share. They, they Everybody trusts them already. You have to become the only inside there okay what offer can you create that is unique how do you cut the legs out from under them and yeah. it's going to take for you to offer something that people would normally pay for that is actually the driving force behind those companies so if they were to try to replicate what you do they will go out of business exactly right so this is why in the mornings from the hours of 3 a.m well 3 a.m. I wake up, pray, do the hygiene and stuff. So from the hours of 4 a.m. to 9 a.m., I'm not really working. Those hours are dedicated to leverage. I'm always thinking leverage. Le those are my leverage hours. Which assets should I create? And what partnerships can I create? Leverage, 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 leverage. I always tell people, if you ain't got no cash yet, it's because you probably don't own no assets. You ain't got no cash yet because you don't own no assets. All right, so positioning yourself to leverage others. All right, leveraging others. This is Sister Yaya's platform. I'm on my Barry White game. I practice what I preach. She's allowing me to, through this partnership, to leverage her platform. I would have never met you do y'all understand? Are you listening right now? I would never have met you. You probably wouldn't have ever came across my channel. It's so many of them on YouTube and all of that if this didn't happen right here. So where did I get that from? Okay, so first you position yourself. I own assets. So, but guess what? All that build it, if you build it, they will come crap. That's a lie. What if your business is located on a dead end? How are people going to hear about it to come to it? So no, you still have to know how to get people to you. All right? So what Christ did was, even though he was only begotten son, power and all of that, he made himself of no reputation. So now he's just he's just some regular dude to everybody else. That's where that song came from. What if God was one of us and all of that? Because he made himself of no reputation. So he wasn't walking down the street like, hey, girl, give me, my, give me your number. You know who I am, right? Nah, he wasn't, he wasn't doing none of that. So... <laughs> so he positioned himself, right? And then he went to his cousin. Why? Because his cousin had the ears of the street. His cousin, John the Baptist, had the people. So even though Christ was more righteous and holy and powerful and all of that, even John the Baptist himself was like, why am I baptizing you? Like, <laughs> what did you gain from me, a man baptizing you? Mm -hmm. Christ understood that 
he they want you to choose the kingdom. So he wasn't going to come down here with fear. That's the second coming. He wasn't going to come down here with a sword and say, love me and choose the kingdom and choose God. No, he wanted to give us that grace, give us an opportunity to make that option and, you know, make that decision. I mean, so he said, OK, if I go out there yelling and this is what we all do with our businesses, y'all pay attention. I you, you have to understand metaphors and analogies. Get this, y'all. OK, you start your business, you position yourself. Hey, I got some coupons. I got some flyers. I'm finna go out here and kill it. So you think you got it, right? Crickets. So he was like, oh, snap. Uh, if I go out there just yelling on the corners and the highways and byways, I'm just gonna look like everybody else. And it's gonna take me forever to gain momentum. Hmm. Who already has the people? It was nobody like John the Baptist yet. So he went to his cousin. He knew that if he could create an alliance with his cousin, if he was associated with his cousin, if he can get back up, if he can get a shout out, nowadays we would call it a shout out, or a photo with a celebrity with his cousin, ooh, who is this Jesus dude? Come on, y'all. It's formulas in the Bible, man. You better That's open right. that book up. You better open that book. It's all in there. It's all, I promise you, when you look at it in, 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 as its entirety, instead of just, oh, this is where I go get my spiritual healing or something. No, 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 no. Everything, your, your food, your diet, your relationships, how to choose friends, uh, 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 work. Should you be a worker? Should you be a boss, all of that is in there. Everything is in the scriptures. I mean, if you ignore it, you just sign on the death waiver. Okay, so he went there, he got baptized. As soon as that happened, everybody already seen what he can do. As soon as he was associated, what happened? Everybody wanted to be a dang on disciple then. He didn't have to go in no offense, but Jehovah witness it and, 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 and beg you to come and join the mission or yell at you on the corners or anything like that. He didn't have to do that. They were, he was, he was a magnet now. Like, yo, okay. At first he was saying he was the only begotten son and he could do this magical stuff. Okay. But it was already witchcraft people and sorcerers and stuff. Okay. Whatever. But now He's been validated and confirmed by John the Baptist. Oh, snap. He must be the real deal. You must see what I'm deal. saying? Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Mm -hmm. You should be able to take this, plug it into your businesses. How do you become, you can't become Christ, but how do you become symbolically the savior to your industry? Figure out the problems in that industry first. Figure out the problems that people overlook or they're too afraid to solve. And then you become the greatest salesperson by becoming the greatest servant first. He did not walk around with a PayPal button attached to him. He did not walk around with a cash app sign. He went around preaching the kingdom and healing like Yo, just, just giving his gift away because he understood it wasn't for him to hold up. He upbraided it not. God gave me this to give away. Mm -hmm. He ministered the seed to the sower. So he understood, listen, like, like all of y'all watching right now, if y'all don't pay me ever, God will move the hearts of men to somebody will pay me. Somebody will want to work with me. Yes. This is why I tell you to not worry about what you're going to eat on tomorrow or, or wear on tomorrow, because it, money is not supposed to be our focus every day, y'all. That's This That's is right. through oppression and, and system. Of, like, this stuff is not supposed to be our focus. Your gift is your focus. He makes it to where it, that is just an, a side effect of it so yes. that you won't have to focus on the money, right? When Solomon asked, what did, he, what did Solomon ask for? The richest and wisest king of all time. Did he ask for money? No, he wanted to be the greatest king 
because all the kings fell before him into their wickedness. He wanted to be able to serve his people better than any king. He wanted to be wise enough to do that. Wow. What the heck? And God, what did God say? He said, since you didn't ask for vengeance on your enemies, since you didn't ask for women, since you didn't ask for money and all of that, I'm going to go ahead and give you all those cherries on top. <laughs> so if you guys sit and focus on how do you solve the issues of your industry, whatever product you create or service you put out needs to cater. Don't even think about how much it's going to cost right now. Don't even think about that. We start a business like, man, this is how much I'm going to charge. No, no, no. You're going about it the wrong way. How can I serve the masses? You understand what I'm talking about? Christ didn't have, he didn't only do high ticket sales. We get caught up in all that BS. He served the masses. Now you're stumping your toe and stumping your growth. You understand? You need to have something for everybody. Yeah, have those high level premium. What I got uh, something for $100,000 right now, right? But I also have like free options as well. You see, like you have to serve them. If you want, if you have a gift and a message that God gave you, you understand, and you really legitimately, come on, no BS, take the filter off. If you really want to help people, he said, we're supposed to be out there winning souls. That's what you do with your gift. When somebody don't have money to work with me, I don't say, oh, well, <laughs> I hope you make it. Sorry, bye. I find something that I do have that, it's still going to be valuable, but it won't hurt me to be able to give them. Exactly. Now, I have my own affiliate network. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Max Bounty before or ClickBank or one of those type of platforms or whatever. It's kind of like a refer, this is a directory for referral programs. All right. But anyway, uh, that is free for a person to sign up and be able to promote other businesses and get commissions and stuff. And I also have an internship. So the internship will allow you to maybe uh, help with editing and, uh, you know, chopping up our content and, and putting it on different accounts and stuff until you work off your uh, entry fee into some of our programs that you can afford. So I make it to where no matter your situation, there's a lot of people that hit me up from India and stuff. And, you know, our stuff here is expensive out there. So they be like, yo, what way can I, can, how can I earn this and all of that? And I, and I don't say, oh, well, too bad you live in that country. <laughs> I don't say that, dude. I, I don't say you better go discover an all, uh, you know, an all situation. And I don't do none of that. Like, yo. Anyway, let's get back to the formula. So positioning yourself, he did that. And we are supposed to do that to leverage others. Okay, so how do the biggest companies in the world leverage others? Okay, Hold on. I'm going to go. Because go we're going to have to do that in another video. And ah. I'm going to tell you why. Because it is almost an hour since we've been here. <laughs> and I got to go because I have another interview right after this one. But okay. like we have just said, sometimes you got to do this, right? Mm -hmm. and you give what? You give something to another person that doesn't really cost you too much to give, but that you can oh, still yeah. do. Yeah. You so give we're going to have a part two. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have a part two. We're That's definitely going to have a part two because I want to make sure that people are listening. So go back into the video. We're going to put the affiliate link in the, in the description box, the mm -hmm. um, internship in the description box yes. and also just like um what you were saying you know the 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 places where they can actually become an affiliate and stuff like that and also the information to uh, actually contact you and also your youtube channel and stay tuned for part two stay yes. tuned for yes. part two because we got a part two because in part two we're going to learn how to in part two we're going to learn how to complete these formulas like we're going to take them and create tangible businesses i'm going to give you guys life examples take some of your ideas and show you how to get the profitability from them before the end of the interview all right go ahead yeah it's wonderful we're gonna do that in part two so you guys stay tuned for part two we're not going anywhere because we literally got to finish this up but i will see you soon and in part two we're gonna get yaz real israel back to talk about how to do these things 
I'm not, I'm not blow it. That's right. That's right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different. And until next time, guys, bye. Hey guys, this is Yaya Diamond of Dream Chasers Radio, and I want to thank you for tuning into this episode. You know, you guys are amazing. Please join us on Vimeo and Roku at Yaya Diamond TV. Again, that's Yaya Diamond TV. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can go ahead and sign up for our newsletter. Ah! Don't ever forget, dare to be different. Yeah.